I think we need to come up with a story. I think that's probably one of the best ways that we'll be able to tell the story about Giant Mind is to create a story or a legend. And I think legends are created by events, I said. So this thing that's underground, the way I look at it, the way I see it, it is a giant monster. It is a monster for me. It's maybe bigger than a monster. Once it comes out, it will destroy everything in front of it. So we could take a look at it like that, like in a cloud of dust that comes out of the ground, you know, as it goes the, whichever way the wind blows. That's where it's going to kill all these people. Forever in my language, we say hot-ah-long. It's hot ah means right now, and then you go long. Forever. Uh, there, there's no stop to it. It's like going out into the universe and that's it. I can't imagine <laughs> that far. It, it's hard for me to think in that way. But um, it is important. That's why I think it's important for everyone to get involved and, and start talking about it. When we had that healing ceremony last year at the mine site, I was crying. I was crying because I was saying I'm sorry. Even though I never did it, I feel sorry for the land. You know, what? maybe we're not part of creating that, but it really affects me. I can't believe that. <laughs> I don't know what they've done to the land is not right at all. It isn't right. All for the sake of money. All for financial gain. That's all it was. They don't care what they did to the land. Not like us Denny people. We really care for our land. I think a lot of times when we're working with the diamond industry right now there's so many things we've learned from the past that we don't want to happen to try to make sure that things are in place that they reclaim the land and they're they're watching how they they work on the land so things in that way it's getting a little bit better but what was allowed to happen at giant mine was not right and I feel really sad that you know, we allowed that monster there. <laughs> what lessons do we really take away from what's happened at Giant? Um, are we really doing mining any better now than was done in the 40s, 50s, even up into the 90s and currently today? Not, not really. We may have, we may think we have better technology. Uh, but our regulation, uh, management of it, you know, it's not even mandatory to have uh, financial security in place for mines. There's no mandatory requirements for closure plans. Um, what have we really learned from that? Not a heck of a lot. Uh, because we just continue on and think that uh, the, what we do today with mining is fine. Uh, it's probably one, the second worst mine in Canada, this place. Now remediation is happening. I was told it's going to take 10 years to clean this up. But the way I see things, uh, the progress, the progressness of it, I guess it's not really f moving at a real fast pace. It looks like it's going to be ongoing and uh, for a very long time, maybe monitoring after the remediation is done, might be years of monitoring going on. The community hearing, they told us uh, monitoring is forever. So what, what, what is forever? What's forever? So, fingers crossed, and hopefully that they will do the right thing. The government of the day, clean it up and put it back in a safe place where we can continue to live. And hopefully that will happen. Hopefully they'll keep their promises. You know, it's hard for government to keep promises. They they break every one of them. Like this conservative government, they break every one of them. But I hope they keep it. 
hopefully. In the future, who knows if the government is going to have enough money to maintain what they're maintaining, like these thermal siphons. Uh, in the future, who knows if there's even going to be any governments to have money to maintain that. And I can't imagine, oh my God, my poor grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, my grandchildren that's not here yet. They're going to have to deal with that and we have to somehow find a way to relay that message to them. It has to be through our stories. There's legends that there used to be monsters in there, big, huge animals. And maybe we have to start creating one or something similar. It is a monster. It's, it's huge, bigger than a monster. Yeah, we are the guardians of eternity forever and ever with no end. There's no end to it. And, that, and that's how we have to keep this big monster underground. <laughs>